Um, hello, my name is Salma Elmo. I am from Morocco. I was born and raised in Morocco. And um, digital marketing is both my job and my passion. So reading was uh, was not really uh, something that uh, I was born with. It actually was a habit that I uh, obviously developed throughout time. And uh, I think the person who, who actually influenced me the most was my father. Because when I was born and I was, I was raised in a home where uh, we had a lot of libraries and he would be constantly immersed in books. So books has, have always been part of my uh, daily routine. And also because most of my friends or most of the friends that I made throughout time, uh, be it in childhood or in my teen days or even uh, now currently, they all were readers. So that's how I actually uh, became an avid reader. So my love towards the subcontinent, uh, I myself sometimes when I take time to think how it, how it happened or how it developed, I don't really have an answer to that because I've been in love with the subcontinent for, for as long as I, I can remember. It just happened. I think it mainly happened through documentaries and movies. And then uh, it went beyond that. I started um, doing some you know, researches myself on the internet. And eventually I came physically to the subcontinent and I made a lot of uh, people like friends. And I, my network is really, really very huge in both India and Pakistan. So yeah, I think uh, it mainly happened through documentaries and movies and then it went beyond that. So Bokeh happened when I was uh, talking to this uh, very good fr friend of mine about how I was interested in reading. So she was like, uh, maybe I should add you to this book club, it's really good where people share books over there, you can find anything you want. So she added me on Bokeh and I was the main, like I, I was a mere member and then uh, I started, back at that time I started uh, uploading books, e-books for free. So members used to make requests, uh, they wanted like for example if they were looking for a book or something I used to upload that book it was a bad thing to do because now I'm against piracy <laughs> but that's uh, how it all started and then eventually uh, the owner of the group um, requested me uh, to become an admin with him and that's how it all happened uh, so I uh, I would I would use the word magical here and trust me it's not an exaggeration it I am using it in its first sense it has been magical because I knew that it would be beautiful but I did not expect it to be this much beautiful that's why I'm using the word magical because a lot of things happened with me here which were no less than than magic so uh, this is uh, absolutely not my First and uh, I mean not my last time. I will, <laughs> I will definitely come back and uh, yeah. I mean it's it's been wonderful so far. Uh, what went beyond my expectations is the love of people. I knew I had friends there uh, here. I knew that people would be massively come into the meetups, but I did not expect them to love to be this much in love with the person I am. And I'm very and very 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 humbled to receive this much love. I mean, I think I have never really experienced this much love in my own country. So I am extremely touched. That's why mostly when I talk to my friends here, I'm awkward and I am all the time, you know, uh, feeling overwhelmed. It's because of the love that I receive, yeah. All I can say about myself is that uh, uh, the experience in Pakistan has been, as I said, very magical and I really want to come back here, like come and settle down here. It's not like just a fantasy anymore in my mind. It's, it's a wish that I am going to make true and I don't want to be just a simple citizen in Pakistan. I want to contribute to this country because it's really beautiful and there is a lot of potential and I would love, love to contribute. I mean, with whatever I can to improve, improve the situation over here, inshallah.